Hey, and welcome back to Summit Railway. In the last video, I've told you about some problems with my switches. Today, I'm going to try to solve them. I don't know if it will work, but uh, I may have a solution. But before we talk about the solution, I will show you the problem in detail. Let's go. Okay, let's have a look at this particular switch. As you can tell, when I'm going to move the switch rails, they are always feathering back away from the main rail, which will eventually cause a derailment. I knew that those switches had those problems, that's why I bought the Mazot switch motor, which has the ability to apply constant pressure to the switch rails, and uh, it will uh, put them right against the main rail, and then this problem should be solved. That was my intention, but now, oh, wait a second, but now if I try to uh, change the switch direction, you can see the motor shut down even before the switch hit the main rail. So that's unfortunate and that's a real big problem, but I may have found a solution. Let's go to the a digital central station and try some programming. With that problem in mind, I've consulted the operator's manual uh, provided by Mazot for this particular switch motor and I've discovered a safety feature. And this safety feature shuts down the switch motor when it encounters too much resistance when moving the switch rails. This is programmed under the CV of 119 it has a range from 1 to 10 and the default setting from the factory is 4. That means we can apply a lot more pressure before the switch motor shuts down when we rise CV119 from 4 to let's say 8. And that's what we're gonna do. So I hope this solves the problem. Let's try it out. First of all, I need to connect the digital central station, which I'm going to use to program the switch motor. Uh, I need to connect it to the switch motor. So I've got the programming wires right here, and this is the wire that goes to the particular switch. And I'm going to use those fast connecting clamps to connect it to the central station. So now we have uh, the connection between the central station and the switch motor and then we can start programming. Okay, I hope you can see well. Let's try it. We go to the menu, we go to the programming feature and we go to CV programming and now we need to resolve the programming lock which has this decoder. This is CV number 15 and I need to set it, in my case, to the number 1. And now the decoder is unlocked and we can program it as we wish. So, as I told you, CV119 uh, is the safety feature. Now we can read it and this should be, number f uh, so, uh, this should be the value 4. And it is. Okay, now we type in 119 again, and this time we program it to the value of 8. Let's do so. There is the uh, check mark. So the programming was successful. And the last thing we need to do is set the programming lock to a different value. It doesn't matter which value. And now the decoder is locked again. So then we go out of the menu. I press the stop button uh, because now I'm going to uh, rewire the connection. I have connected the switch motor to the track output of the digital central station before we use the programming output. But to test it we need a track output. Okay, let's see if anything has changed. Switch motor is working. Yes, and it goes right to the main rail and it is locked. Let's try 
uh, different direction. Same thing, it is locked and it's nicely snuck against the main rail. So this seems to work very good. That makes me happy. Since this worked out so nicely, I will go ahead and program each and every single switch in this station area and I will hope that it works for all the other switches as well. All right, all the switches are programmed the same way I showed you earlier before. And then I've gone outside to every single switch and tested it and the good news is all of them work. So now this should be done and just in time for the big train meetup next week. So I'm very happy that this simple programming trick worked out and I don't have to remove every single switch and uh, modify it uh, elsewhere. Let's check in with the track inspectors and see what they think. They seem pretty chill about my modifications, so I think that's a pass. <laughs>